Greetings, my esteemed audience. I'm checking in with a few insights which will hopefully be useful to some of you. Now, as you see in the title, I messed up. I made a few mistakes and I am now on the back foot. And I make this video to give you all an update and also to share a few teachings so that you don't repeat my mistakes. Now, first and foremost, it is not something super dramatic that has happened, but rather a few a few mishaps, a few mistakes. So I'll give a brief overview before getting into the, the teachings at hand, the, the insights we can learn from my own mistakes. So first things first, last year, perhaps you saw I made a video asking for some legal advice, US based legal advice. And what happened to the American way, you ask? Yes, we were in the process of restocking the American way. It was a super popular product. So of course I wanted to restock it and then I get an email, a highly traumatic email, saying that the manufacturer had gone bankrupt and then we had paid the 50%, the prepayment, quite a hefty sum. And then, yeah, they say that they have gone bankrupt and uh, yeah, of course the, the order was cancelled and we have still to receive the refund for that, uh, that cost. I'm still waiting. Uh, Maybe we'll get into, maybe we'll take some legal action, uh, depending. I'm still giving them some time, because uh, of course it's a big thing uh, for the mother company to deal with, uh, to repay investors and the like. And then also speaking of legal action, another mistake I did, or mistake, I didn't know better then, now I know better. As you saw also, looked into taking legal action against Meta and that cost me a lot, didn't bring me anything. Now, I was warned beforehand that the, um, there was the risk of wasting money on something that wouldn't yield anything, but then, so half a year ago, I thought this is for the greater good. I'm gonna do it anyway, see if we can actually get something done here. And uh, yeah, it was a mistake in retrospect. So a mishap in a company going bankrupt leaving us stranded there and that is also why the American username page was uh, not so active for some time. Now of course you can order directly from Sweden. Hopefully we can regain that lost territory. So a mishap first and foremost and then um, a failed charge. I likened it to the charge of the Minas Tirith Knights, the charge against Osgiliath. And uh, yeah, that was about how it went as well. So a bit of a fail, a bit of a failure, but it is what it is. And then also we have a few products. And I will show you one example. I have this very fine cardigan on me as we speak. And I've had a similar cardigan for about 12 years. I was very attached to it. You've seen it in older videos as well. Wore it a lot and I thought my goal here is to one day have something similar for Legio Gloria. And when I saw the prototype for the first time, I thought, yes, this is gonna be a hit because I believe it's so, it's so nice and comfortable and beautiful. Now, what I didn't realize because I was so blinded, and this is the teaching then, that sometimes you're blinded by your own perception of things. I was so blinded by my own enthusiasm for the garment that I didn't realize that a cardigan is a quite specific fashion statement, so not all guys like cardigans. I should have known, I didn't, because I was blinded by my own enthusiasm. So I released it, it wasn't particularly popular, so a big investment making garment like this, and uh, yeah, so a bit of a fail. Something else, to use another example, I have this fine tank top as well. I thought the color here is absolutely wonderful. Everyone is gonna love this because I loved it myself. I was super excited. Organic cotton as well. But to my great dismay, it wasn't popular at all. And then I asked around a bit. Okay, what's, what's going on? Asked friends and many said, this isn't, um, the color is a bit, you know, prefer to have many guys. They prefer to have white, gray, black, a bit more muted colors. For me, I've always liked having a lot of color on me and this is good this is an aristocratic trait and having a bit more muted colors that's more of a plebeian trait i'm not gonna go into a fashion history lesson here but it's something good to wear color 
Now something else, I know it's not super exciting to talk about, but we're talking about logistics. Something I should have done a long time ago was optimize the, the logistics. And the teaching here, by the way, is that if you have a system, get the system firmly in place first, and then you can start developing. So I postponed it. Now, of course, as I make this video, I have sat down, I have done the... Um, long hard arduous work to get everything sorted out so if you go into legioglory.com now you will see that the we have a flat rate of five euro or the equivalent in other currencies and then we also have a free shipping option if you exceed a certain value and orders will be sent out every day now only a month ago we used DHL which has been a, a pain because they've had a lot of issues so now I know to not work with them and the orders were shipped out only once or twice a week which is fine if you're a startup or something but Legio Gloria is large enough now to you know reach the level where you are shipping out orders every day and you have a, a good logistical system in place and you don't use uh, companies such as DHL with uh, with a lot of issues. Now I won't go into any more details here because I know it's very technical and again it's a, it's a big deal for me because I have to deal with it a lot but perhaps not so interesting for you but the teaching at hand is that if you have something, a system, try to optimize it in the beginning. So the Swedish Jotunheim Nutrition.se, it has worked very well for many years now and I've implemented the same system for the other pages so hopefully in um, in a few weeks knock on wood everything will be well for the other pages as well and it will be you know it will be um, a good system now to the main teaching at hand it's the Greek myth of Icarus he flew too close to the Sun and this is something I've tried to keep um, with me all the time this teaching that you don't get complacent but even knowing this even knowing about this myth from an early age i still got complacent i got a bit um yeah i wasn't careful enough i made big investments without doing the research and uh, that carelessness i can liken to that the teaching of getting too close to the sun you get complacent you don't you don't think you can fall but you can always fall especially if you make yourself guilty of hybris which is then to get too close to the sun so I should have been more humble with these investments I should have been more careful and this is also something Thomas Hodgkin writes in his excellent book about Theodoric the Great which I made a podcast episode about by the way and I said there there's a weakness in the gothic soul and of course I'm a gothic man uh, prone to Taking risks, I suppose. I didn't realize this about myself, but I used to have to analyze my own blood. The Viking, the Gothic um, propensity to take risks. And he writes the, uh, the Gothic weakness in uh, staking everything on, on big risks. And then, of course, sometimes it can go well, but sometimes it can go uh, not as well. So this is something I've learned for myself and, and for everyone who is of a similar disposition or archetype or ethnicity that it can be worth keeping in mind that sometimes to not be so keen on taking risks. Again, I didn't think of this myself. I never thought of myself as someone who enjoys taking risks. I don't enjoy taking risks, but when I analyze myself in retrospect, maybe I took a few risks because I got complacent. I flew too close to the sun. And yeah, now I am on the back foot because of a mishap with the bankruptcy and uh, the, the legal stuff and then a few bad investments and um, and here we are so things can go from bad to worse quite quickly now I'm still in a position where I can turn this around and I will use all of my all of my knowledge and power and drive to uh, to remedy the situation to uh, to start flying again before I hit the sea as uh, Icarus in the myth now I will of course say something good about myself as well and that is I have never done anything to compromise my word, my honor, my gravitas so that is still in tip top shape because I've always taken the, the path of honor and that is of course something you can see as well especially if you've been following me for a good few years that you know I'm a man of honor and when we're talking about the business itself the products are of the utmost quality and that is something that you know saves the day so I always thought that I can, you know, I can count on guys giving me a chance because I'm me. I'm working for the the greater, the greater cause. So I am given a chance to 
make a good impression and that is where the quality of the products come in so the the successful launches they have saved the day and of course the loyalty of my esteemed supporters it's hard for me to say you know through a camera uh, perhaps you don't feel it perhaps it's hard to feel my gratitude but uh, I will try to I'm using all of my poetic prowess to try to express my gratitude here for for all of my loyal supporters who have been with me for uh, for a long time uh, so I couldn't have done anything without you and uh, yeah I'm still in a position where I can turn things around because of you so thank you from the bottom of my heart so anyway to recap the um, the teachings at hand don't get tired you always have to be in um, in tip-top shape uh, especially of course if you're like me you're also having to contend with a very hostile environment you know not being able to market um, your wares because no Instagram account having been shadow banned having to watch out for hostile actors all the time uh, everywhere because I am me of course a public figure a dissident so yeah a lot of dangers to contend with but this is something I should be able to handle because I'm if I may say so myself I'm quite talented also so I I take the hardest road because I'm able to do it and of course I have a high opinion on my own abilities even so I should have been more humble so moving forward I will be more careful with a lot that I do and I will work a bit harder now of course this isn't only about business you can use these teachings um, for anything really so if we're talking about uh, a physical fight or metapolitics or politics don't swing too much because then you might open yourself up to be to be knocked out and you can take maybe one hit but when you take one two three hits then um, yeah you might be down for the counting so to speak so keep your guard up keep breathing don't get lazy don't get complacent don't take too too many risks sometimes you need to take risks and perhaps if you're a timid guy I would say to you that you should take more risks but if you are a neo-gothic gentleman such as myself maybe you should take fewer risks and calculate more before you actually commit to a course of action and then of course do the research is this something that will be that will actually sell well or if we're talking about metapolitics endeavors is this an argument which will you know be be welcomed by others or is this something I've only I've talked with my good friends and we have agreed upon that you know we need to create a temple in Antarctica or something I'm just saying something random here but you know what I mean it's um, you have to you have to zoom out from yourself look at the world from the perspective of an eagle, an eagle of insight, and see, okay, most people, in terms of metapolitics, they aren't really concerned with, you know, certain things that might be interesting to you. So you have to look at what do normies want right now. Then, of course, you have to push the normies to f see things from your perspective. Uh, same thing with uh, when it comes to clothing. So I say to all of you, go to legiogloria.com, uh, order yourself some cotton underwear because you shouldn't have tight-fitting polyester underwear so you should push your your worldview at the same time as also taking into consideration that sometimes some people they might not see the world as you do now anyway all of that being said I will check back in in half a year maybe after summer or something like that and we'll see if I have managed to turn the situation around and if I am in a good place or not in a good place but I will make my I will do my utmost I will use all of my talent all of my willpower all of my drive to to rectify the situation and to get uh, to get away from being on the back foot so yeah lastly thanks again to everyone who supported me it truly means the world to me and yeah I will work hard to um, turn this around so I will see you in the next video XXO Boom!